I'm Froggy and we are in the city getting ready to test out the all new Google Pixel 3 with a little doll photography. It's about 7.30 in the morning, freezing cold. I'm in Washington, DC. So the lighting is perfect. I think we're gonna get some great shots. The Google Pixel 3 is lightweight, it's thin, it feels a lot like my iPhone. But I'm wondering, does it have a better camera? When traveling, my cell phone is my go-to for photography because I just need something that's really easy to use. When photographing miniatures, I get close up, so I need a camera that's going to give me the best pictures. I got my book bag and my dolls. This looks like a really good spot. We have some nice curvature in the city layout, Starbucks over there, and we're in indirect light. So this, the building is shading us from the direct sunlight, which gives us the best lighting for photos. So I really like how this camera allows me to focus on her face. So even if my hand's a little shaky, it's always staying focused. That is awesome. Whoa, look at how clear that is. When I was taking the picture, it looked like it was gonna be kind of dark on the screen, but it turned out perfect. This building has some great texture. So look at the black and white stripes, they're gonna look fantastic in a photo. Important tip, when you are photographing your toys in the city, be aware of your surroundings. There are a lot of cars. Ah, oh, this is some great color blocking. We have this bright green, we got purple, we got yellow. It's gonna look great. I had to stop at a coffee shop because my hands are freezing. Uh, and this place is adorable. But it's a great time to sit down and talk about what I like about the Google Pixel 3. So the motion enable feature where you can touch the screen and move around and it stays focused, big, big plus. I don't know if it's me or if I'm just like overly excited, but the pictures seem a lot clearer to me and I'm getting pretty close to my doll. The background was pretty focused. I had some nice bouquet. I'm loving this. Now the real test is taking a selfie. Often the selfie camera is not as clear as the back camera. So let's see if that is the case here. Now let's get warm, then head back out into the city. More doll photos to take. This rod iron is really awesome. It's got a lot of texture. We have these brown doors right behind it. So if we get our doll just right, we can get a really good perspective where it looks like she's actually the right size for this building. Plus there's some light bouncing off the building across the street, which is giving her a great glow. I love taking photos in the city because it just gives you so many different areas to photograph. You get like all these different scenes in one spot. And now that it's brighter outside, this is a great opportunity to get some cityscapes that we can use for backgrounds later. And we got a graffiti wall. You know how I love graffiti. If you have the opportunity, make sure you take advantage of the light. Have the doll facing the light uh, so you can get a nice glow on her face. Then turn her away from the light so you can play with the shadows and see how you might like that. Sometimes those come out to be really artistic looking pictures. Scenery that goes off into the distance makes great backgrounds. I think we got some great shots today. I am very impressed with the Google Pixel 3. Might be my new on the go camera. Thank you for joining us while we took some photos around the city. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!